Meditators, today I'm going to talk about how to make profits no matter what the market conditions are. We are going to cover how to earn yields in crypto, how to protect your bull market gains while still earning profit through stablecoins, and how to build an edge in DeFi. Our mission at Market Meditations is to help our listeners build wealth. This episode focuses on exactly how you can achieve this, and I am excited to share these strategies with you. For improved audio quality, remember to like and subscribe below. To stay one with the crypto markets, sign up and get six free market meditations newsletters a week. You'll find a link in the description below. And a quick thanks to our partners at Exodus for making this podcast possible. There will be more on them later. Crypto volatility is a blessing and a curse. Whilst the ability to profit is limitless to the upside, volatility also works against us when the market corrects if we're not prepared. It's noteworthy that such market corrections are not inherently bad. In fact, we've seen that even bullish trends are subject to healthy corrections if they are to be sustainable. Today, I'm going to share my method to make serious profits even when the market corrects. Compound interest has been described as the eighth wonder of the world. Not only can you earn compound interest in crypto, but at the moment, yields are extremely high across the board. So I'm going to tell you how to start earning these high yields on your crypto and your stable coins. What's more, we will consider how stable coins create a bull market edge if utilized correctly. Let's start with a Ford experiment. Picture two people. The first person is a software engineer who earns $80,000 a year. He puts $2,000 a month into a traditional savings account, earning 1% a year. The second person is a savvy investor who earns $40,000 a year. He saves $1,000 a month and uses passive income strategies in crypto to generate 10% a year, which is quite a conservative estimate for crypto, especially in these market conditions. Now, who is truly on the path to building wealth? Consider their cash flows over time. At the five-year mark, the engineer will have made about $3,000 in interest. The savvy investor will have earned $18,000. At the 10-year mark, the engineer will have earned $13,000. And the savvy investor, $87,000. That's a $74,000 difference because of that higher interest. Now, what you're witnessing is the power of compound interest. Your money makes you money, then that money makes you more money, and so the cycle continues. Understanding the power of compound interest can change the course of our financial lives. Everybody is an investor by default, for even if you simply stash cash away, That is still an investment that loses about 2% a year. The DeFi space gives us access to double, even triple digit returns for those who really know what they're doing. Let's take a look at four reasons why. Removal of inefficient middlemen. Where people used to handle your finances and take a big cut for doing so, we now have computer code that does this. Inherent risk of human error. We have to trust code written by people. There could be errors in that code. There's a risk of losing our money and therefore there's going to be more reward attached to it. Difficulty of use. Often platforms that allow you to earn interest have complex user experiences. This is a barrier to entry that makes it more lucrative for those who can cross that barrier and learn how to use it. Cost of customer acquisition. Finally, companies are paying you for your money. Just like in traditional finance, liquidity is the most valuable thing. So, as a way of incentivizing users to come, you are getting high interest rates. So where can you go to earn yields on crypto and stablecoins? The main way we can earn high returns is through lending. You can lend your Bitcoin or your Ethereum, for example, and you can earn double-digit interest on this. You may ask, how do I find such yields? Well, the easiest way is by using an aggregator. Aggregators compare the market. They look all over the space and find you the best rates. 
Harvest.finance is a well-known example of this. You can also use a platform such as Zapper.fi. If you want to dive into an individual platform, one of our favorites for stablecoin returns is Vespa Finance. With all of these platforms though, please know that they come with risk and you need to do your own research. So far we have mainly focused on DeFi, but what about centralized finance or CeFi? You can think of a centralized platform as the crypto alternative of a bank account. You deposit crypto into an account held by the company and they lend out your crypto. In return, they pay you interest. Interest-bearing accounts in crypto can pay upwards of 20% depending on the platform you use. So what do you need to consider? In the case of centralized platforms, your trust is put in the company and the team who founded the company. Most interest-bearing accounts are either self-custody or partner with another exchange that takes over custody. This means that you won't have your private keys. These platforms are not FDIC insured. Although it's worth noting that many have their own separate insurance funds. You will now have to go through KYC. Your funds may also be subject to a lockup period. To help select a platform, don't just consider the interest rates available, but look at the team behind the company, whether your funds are insured, look at the KYC process and any attached lockup periods. One platform I use is Nexo, which allows you to earn up to 8% interest on crypto and 12% on stable coins paid out daily. I also use Crypto.com, which also give fantastic returns on my crypto up to 8.5%. Celsius and BlockFi are also fantastic choices. We have established that stable coins offer high yields and that compound interest is extremely profitable. Now consider the final element. Stablecoin yields provide a profitable way of reducing your risk on crypto assets while still earning extremely high rates. Understand that your split between crypto and stablecoins will determine your risk. Keeping a higher amount of crypto means your net worth is subject to high volatility. If the bear market comes, you will lose a lot. But if the bull market continues, you will make a lot. Increasing your stablecoin holdings reduces your exposure to volatility and still ensures you are making serious returns. There are two ways to go about increasing stablecoin holdings. Set a clear target. If $200,000 of assets gives you financial freedom and changes your life, why wouldn't you reduce volatility as you approach that level? That means that the closer you get to your target, the less crypto you hold and the more stable coins you hold. Reduce your crypto exposure monthly. The bull market has an end date and every day we get closer to it. Instead of using a set target, we assume that every month the probability of the bull market ending increases. It makes sense, therefore, to somewhat increase stablecoin exposure and reduce crypto exposure naturally over time. One of the biggest problems in the crypto industry right now is that there are far too many applications and none of them are very user-friendly for beginners. That's why we've partnered with Exodus. They're a desktop and mobile wallet that allow users to own their own private keys, navigate a very easy interface where they can view their portfolio, store multiple different cryptocurrencies, as well as exchange and earn interest on those cryptocurrencies. So if you're interested in checking them out, head over to exodus.com. That's E-X-O-D-U-S dot com. Now we've dealt with how you can earn high yield through crypto, let's talk about the tools to build an edge in the DeFi market as a whole. Firstly, risk management and psychology are essential. However good your investing strategies are, you need the mental capacity to carry them out and the risk management to survive. The next tool is technical analysis. This is a tool that lets you study price data to inform your decisions and is very commonly used. For risk management, psychology, and technical analysis, you can find complete courses on my YouTube which are entirely free. Next, we can look to fundamental analysis. You can research, learn, and study, but there are a few things I like to do beyond that. 
dive into Twitter discords and telegrams, you can gauge the founders of projects, interact with the community and get a real temperature for the type of people involved in this project. Twitter is the easiest place to start. With all of this, you can follow me or anyone else you like, ask questions, add value, share your journey and make friends. Giving without expectation is the best and most profitable way to navigate the crypto space. Also, use the products. You'll see firsthand what the product is like, and as a bonus, when trying these platforms, you might even get an airdrop. This is where the platform distributes its token across users at no cost, like Uniswap did. People have made up to $10,000 just trying the right projects at the right time. The next fantastic tool to build an edge is on-chain analytics. The beauty of DeFi is its transparency. You can actually see what the largest players in the market are doing and use their actions to influence your own decisions. Nansen.ai is a great place to start for this. Market narratives are the last tool to focus on. Stay updated with market events every single day to get a feel for trending narratives. In 2017, we had the next Ethereum narrative. This was powerful. ICX was the Korean Ethereum. NEO was the Chinese Ethereum. Both of these coins and several others like it went up over 100 times their value. Current hot narratives include NFTs, cheaper and faster Ethereums like Solana. Exchange tokens are also a narrative thanks to the Coinbase direct listing. And of course, DeFi is a powerful narrative. You can even look for narratives within DeFi aggregators, like insurance protocols or even exchanges. Understanding the power of compound interest is an essential first step to building wealth. Once we understand this, we can look for opportunities to earn high yields such as on our crypto and stablecoin assets. We can use stablecoin yields in particular to create a bull market edge by reducing our crypto exposure and simultaneously benefiting from the high interest rates. This allows us to build wealth whilst reducing our exposure to the violent and potentially overheated market conditions. On top of this, you can build an edge by using risk management, psychology, technical analysis, fundamental analysis, on-chain analytics, and market narratives. Speaking about profiting while taking on less risk is a topic that really excites me and one that I think will benefit a huge number of market participants and stop them repeating the mistakes that I saw happen again and again in 2017. My team and I are constantly looking for strategies like this that can help people survive and profit off of these markets. Now, I have a team of researchers write six free newsletters a week and to access them, you all you have to do is sign up at karushak.substack.com. To learn more about the current state of DeFi, make sure to check out my episode with SciKeeper. He talks all about earning high yields through DeFi.